All right, so an update, we're gonna make this an outhouse instead of a tool shed, because I'm building it pretty small, and the outhouse that I have back behind me is in pretty rough shape and will make a fine tool shed. I salvaged a bit of hardwood flooring here from a house that got new hardwood put into it, and this was in the burn pile. I have corrugated uh, metal roof coming, and one uh, clear sheet so that I can put a window in the top. I didn't plan very well in the back on how I'd button this up, so here's what I decided. I wanted a small wood shed off the side of this structure anyway. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to button this up nicely up to about here, and then I'm gonna put in round wood, come off, build a little lean-to, and hopefully I'll have a little bit extra from the roofing material of the corrugated material to uh, cover this little section here where I can store wood or some tools that might be fine outside, just don't want them to get rained on. And then, over here, I'm missing a few little one-inch panels to kind of completely put this off. I have some felt paper, I'm going to wrap it in felt paper, and then um, I am going to side it with some cedar that I have. And, uh, and, and, and we'll be getting near done. What else will be left? Oh, I need to put in a few windows and a vent. The wood I got though is full of these like brads and I don't know really long nails that are rusted. So I got some work here to uh, to pry them out. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna prepare this wood. Oh yeah, over here. Here's a window I started to build. I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out. I even found a piece of uh, where the, the trim, I guess, where the door would go. So I just got to cut this down to size and fit it in. It's... I stopped by the Habitat Restore in Portland, Maine, and I picked up a couple of old saws. They work all right. They're a little bit dull, but not too bad. Still got some good life in them. Got some nails, uh, a few other things, a handful of other things. Spent about 10 bucks. Down here, I'm gonna button up the rest of this with uh, some of this old flooring that I have and uh, whatever one inch stuff that I can find. I'm only using flooring bits that had problems with it. Cracks down it vertically, uh, issues where it wouldn't fit in because it was a little too warped or uh, if the actual joints together were a little too messed up. Um, because this, this wood is nice, it's very valuable, it's, it's really good hard wood. I don't want to just like throw it all in there. These types of pieces, these are all sacrificial. These are going to come out and then we'll have, we'll have a nice clean silhouette.
Yeah. I can definitely use those saw ponies and some of that wood, so that's great. And maybe that cabinet. <laughs> Perfect. So I couldn't find any free roofing material really at all, and I refused to use like a architectural shingling, like a, you know, asphalt shingle, because I just don't like the look of it. So this is the only new thing I've purchased for this shed, and hopefully the only new thing that I will purchase is uh, some corrugated metal roofing, and I'm breaking one rule that I have, which is no plastic, and I've got one corrugated plastic sheeting tough tax uh, sheet, and that will be used to make windows in the top so that we get a little light. So um, I figure that's worth cheating on because uh, the light will be worth it and the cost versus um, putting in windows in both time and money. Gotta go get something that can make my screw gun shoot these. Wish I had some tin snips to open up these tin snips.
All right, so I kind of made a mistake in uh, my ordering, and uh, I thought that that window would be able to be a window for both sides with the amount that I purchased. However, I didn't consider the width or the distance between the supports, so um, it actually kind of had to be a lot longer or a little longer uh, than I was hoping, meaning that if I want to make this match the exact on the other side, I need to buy another plastic sheet, or if I just wanted to close it off, I would either have to layer the metal that I have, which I don't think will look as good as how clean it is on the other side, um, or I'd have to buy a brand new metal sheet. The metal sheets are more expensive than the plastic sheets, so um, I think I'm going to pretty much call it a day and head back to edit some video because it takes me hours and hours to get these edits done um, and I haven't posted a video soon or recently you guys can tell I'm tired I went to a city release party last night and I went to bed at 3.30 in the morning and it's like 6 p.m. so tired I am so tired okay uh, but yeah so I'm gonna tomorrow grab another one of those plastic sheets and uh, we're going to do it. We're going to do it, guys. We're getting there, though. I'm excited, and I think it's going to be really cool here from the inside. Anyone in there? No, oh, we're good. Okay. Whoops, sorry, bumping around. But... Yeah. <laughs> I tossed my axe in here. If I end up using it as a tool shed, this is how I would store a lot of stuff. But I do think this is actually going to become an outhouse. Whoa. Anyway. I'm going to go edit this video, guys. If you're watching this, it's because I left.